What's going on everybody? Welcome to part two of the Python Reddit API wrapper or pro tutorial mini series. In this tutorial, what we're going to be talking about is at least beginning to parse comments. So like I said at the end of the last video, comments represent a different kind of challenge um, for a variety of reasons. Mainly it's just the fact that comments aren't, you know, perfectly in order. They are, uh, it's a tree of data. It's not um, a linear uh, form of data. So anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, subreddit.subscribe, but the rest of this stuff can remain. So just underneath this, let's go ahead and continue. So uh, the first thing we could do is, first of all, I want to limit this to, there's there there are uh, two stickies, so I'm just going to limit this to three, um, just so we don't go, th you know, so we just do one submission for now. Um, and now I'm going to come down here and uh, we can re uh, reference the comments by just saying comments equals submission dot comments. So this gives us the comments. So now what we could do is we could say for comment in comments, we can go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's like print twenty times this. <laughs> That'll give us some separation. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to print comment. But just like a submission, the comments are like these objects, like the pro object. And <clears throat> the object is just going to have the ID. So then you reference an attribute. And one of the attributes is body for the body of that comment. <clears throat> and then what we're going to say is, so that's our, that's our comment. So we can at least iterate through comments that way. So for example, let's just run that real quick. This uh, over here, I'm going to shrink this a little bit here. So anyways, these are like all our, our um, you know, comments. Now, um, let me pull up that. Oh, did I just close out of it? I guess I closed out of it. I'm going to pull over my. So that was why. So there's six comments total here. Um, but some of these are like replies. Like, for example, if you're unfamiliar, do yourself a favor and look into pandas. So, for example, if you. Uh, you're going to make me look for this, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Okay. Anyway, it's not here. Okay. So we, what we have to do is iterate through it. Or at least I'm pretty sure it's not there. So these would be just like top levels, I'm pretty sure. I just want to be 100%. Sorry for wasting your time. Anyway, did I, I think I closed it again. I guess I'm bad at closing things. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure it's not there. So what we need to do is get the replies. So then we could say, um, you know, for reply. So for, um, or rather, pro, what we should do is we, we there might not be any replies. So then we could say, um, if len comment dot replies is greater than zero. And again, if you didn't know replies existed, you could have done a, a dir on comment dot body or you could read the documents. Um, anyway, if len comment dot replies is greater than zero, so we have some replies, then we're going to say for reply in comment dot uh, replies, <clears throat> we can, oops, that's not a, that's a attribute. Anyway, um, we can print, um, and let's just say like reply. Um, and also it would be dot body. <clears throat> Run that. Okay, so like here you get a it's just me reply, really great high quality reply. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, oh, and here's another reply. I was like, this really isn't another one. Yeah. So this is the this is that comment I just searched for a second ago. So there we caught that reply about pandas. But then, um, I think I closed it, so let me open it again. Someone complained on one of my videos that I, I just murder my enter key. It's true. Uh, anyway, uh, if you're unfamiliar, there you go. So, so pandas look into pandas, but then there's another comment underneath that, right? So then we would have to be like, um, you know, we'd, we'd have to just basically, Okay, and then at this point at reply, we could say, okay, if len reply dot replies is greater than zero, but, but you have no idea how deep down the rabbit hole of the comment tree things go. Right, so that's that's slightly problematic. <clears throat> so the solution is we can actually say, um, 
submission.comments. Uh, we can add dot list to these, and this will list out your um, all of the comments. So dot list, I believe, is purely a Python Reddit API wrapper, so purely a pra functionality. That's not something that's actually available to you in the Python, um, or it's not something that's actually available to you in the Reddit API. Um, but anyways, that doesn't matter. Uh, let me go ahead and close this just so we get a nice clean um, thing. And then also we, uh, we kind of want to do like print comment.body. We don't really want to do the replies. So let's just do that. Let me cancel this real quick. So in this case, we've run through all of them. So here you go. Here's a, a, the second level reply. Now, unfortunately, we have no absolutely no idea the contextual data for this. Like, we don't really know where this, this was um, in the whole thing. So, for example, um, you know, you wouldn't really know that this was in reply to, you know, which reply it was to. Um, now, what list does is basically it takes all the top level comments, lists those out. Then it goes down to the second level comments, lists all those out, then third level, and so on. So one option you have is rather than comment.body, what you could say um, is you can also grab like you could you can grab uh, print um, the parent ID, and that would be comment.parent. Now do note that's not an attribute; that's an actual new API call which in my opinion is super unfortunate. I wish that was supplied. And I, and I don't think that's a, the pra, a pra mistake. I believe that's, uh, that's just in Reddit. Now I realize not every comment is gonna necessarily have a parent, but pretty much every comment would, right? Like either the parent is the actual submission or the parent is another comment. So, and, and these are like little tiny ID strings. Like I, I really think that should be included, but it's not, and it's a new API call. So anyway, comment ID, uh, so comment.parent, and rather than that, this one is just comment.id, which just is actually an attribute. So, huh, crazy. <laughs> um, I can't remember if a submission, I'm pretty sure like the submission contains the subreddit ID. So, eh. <laughs> I might be wrong though. Anyway, uh, that's okay. So now what we could do is get the parent ID and the comment ID of every comment. Um, and then what we could do is print the comment body um, and then you've got the parent ID and the comments ID of everything. Now, from that point, um, you could begin to do some pretty cool stuff. But the first thing I want to show you is right, let's say let's say we don't do Python, and instead we do news. So a very very popular subreddit. And if this doesn't work, um, I'll do like politics or something. But we should hit an error here. Let's go. There we go. Here we go. There's our error. So if you use the dot list and you actually do iterate through all comments, chances are eventually you're going to wind up with this stupid error. Um, so more comments object has no attribute parent. Okay. So what's happening there is like on really long comment chains. Um, so like, for example, let me go to the news subreddit news. Um, that would be this one. Marijuana company buys entire U.S. town to create cannabis-friendly municipality. That's going to have lots of comments. So, for example, right away, um, you can see uh, here, this, like, load more comments. That's a more comments object. And actually, even though Reddit looks super simple, they're going to, that, when you click this, I'm pretty sure you're making a new call. Um, like, it's an actual call to their database. Um, same thing with like continue this thread. That's a new call. It's going to reload that data. Like all this data is not loaded on your page load. That would be nuts. You'd never load the page. So anyways, <clears throat> if you wanted to continue um, iterating through those comments, you, you would need to also either handle with a, you know, an exception or something like that. Or one option you have is to replace the mores. So uh, for example, um, coming down here, comments.list. Um, one option you have is um, so you could you can just use dot replace more. We're kind of starting to add a little too many um, uh, a little too many things here, but let's just do I'll do I'll add the dot list down here, and then what we'll say is dot re replace 
um, underscore more. And then for now, we'll say limit equals zero. Um, but at some point, you will run into limits with the replace more. Like there's only so many more it will add. I think it's 30 or something like that, um, which is still a ton of comments. Because like each replace more will load in a bunch more comments. Uh, but just keep that in mind. Like you're you you're gonna run out eventually. Um, but it won't error if you do run out of the option to continue replacing. Instead, it's just gonna toss them. So you won't hit an actual error anymore. So anyways, let's let's go ahead and run this real quick. And probably I should have removed the parent call. That's gonna slow me down. <gasps> what? Hmm. Let's see. Submission dot comments. Okay, replace more. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, dot list, and then we'll come over here, comments dot replace more. Okay, so first we, we've converted it to list form, which then creates this 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 more comments object, and now we can replace them. I just did it backwards. This should work. That's still going to be a lot of queries to the API, but hopefully we'll get through it. Are you kidding me? Replace more. What have I done? What have I done? Comments dot replace more. So comments equals submission dot comments. I think I had it right the first time. So comments equals submission dot comments. Let me just. So we're going to say submission dot comments dot replace more limit equals zero now for a comment in comments um let's see no for comment in submission dot comments i really feel like i should have been able to string that someone can comment below what the fix should have been because i don't see why i wasn't able to string those together but obviously i'm messing up something so for comment in submission dot comments dot list let me try that. Drink some more coffee while I'm at it. There we go. Not a problem. That's going forever though. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna break that because <laughs> that's a lot of uh, API calls. Eventually, it would probably throttle me. Um, anyway, as you can see, now we've got all the parent IDs, the comment IDs. Everything's hunky dory. We're doing great. So uh, go ahead and close this out. So. Um, so that's how you can iterate through all the comments um, and all that. Now, um, now the question is, you know, how might you rebuild that comment tree, right? Because at some point, right, like you've got to rebuild that tree. So, for example, one option you, you could have um, is like build a dictionary or something like that. And then each of like the, you know, like the parent, you've got a parent ID um, and then... Um, the parent content and then all of the replies. So parent ID, content, all replies. Parent ID, content, all replies. And if you did that, um, you could rebuild the tree yourself. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and go through all that. I don't really see too much point um, covering that in video. But if you are interested in that, you can go to part two of this tutorial series on pythonprogramming.net um, and there'll be an example there. If, if you're interested in truly rebuilding those comment trees, um, that's one way you could do it. Um, that's how I would do it anyway. <laughs> If you have a better way, I'm sure somebody could come up with a better way. Um, anyways, uh, so now in the next tutorial, what we're going to talk about is um, uh, basically just streaming from Reddit. So this has all been like historical grabbing from Reddit, um, but there's also a way you can actually just stream data from Reddit. So anyways, that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial.